Hi friends, welcome to Q10X. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I will be sharing some of the most important Excel shortcuts that an average Excel user should definitely know. Also, at the end of this video, I will be sharing one extra shortcut which I personally use the most. So please watch this video till the end. But before that, please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And now, without any contention, let's jump into it. This video is in continuation to Excel shortcuts part 1 video. So I would suggest you guys to watch that video if you haven't already. You can click on the card on the top right hand corner to watch that video. Also, I will be adding a link to that video in this video's description for your easy reference. Having said that, let's move ahead with some more useful shortcuts. The first one on this list is unhide rows and columns. In the first video, we got to know that to unhide row, we need to simply select any cell in that row and press Ctrl and 9. Now let's say if I want to unhide this row, I need to select two cells, one in the uh, row which is above that hidden row like this and one below that hidden row so you need to select two cells like this and then press ctrl shift and 9 again to unhide that row similarly let's say if i want to unhide this column i need to first hide this column and that can be implemented with the help of ctrl and zero sign now let's say if i want to unhide this column i can simply select any two cells one to the left of that hidden column like this and one to the right of that hidden column and then press alt o c u so that will unhide that column for me let's move on to the next shortcut which is shortcut number two select all data so in excel there are many instances where we need to select either the full uh, worksheet or a table of data so let's say if you're in an empty cell and if you press Ctrl and A, it will select the whole worksheet for you. And if you move within a range of continuous cells, just like this table, and if you press Ctrl and A, it will select the whole table for you. And then you can do further operation on this table just like copying and pasting it somewhere else. Moving on to the next shortcut, shortcut number 3, which is to give all border. Let's say in Excel, if you want to give border to this table, Instead of clicking on selecting the table, clicking on this border dialog box and then selecting all border, you can simply do, you can simply select this table once and press Alt, H, B and A to give all border. Similarly, if you want to remove borders, you can simply press Alt. So when you press Alt, it will, as you can see, it will give you shortcut keys for all the menus and now we know that since border falls in home i will press h and then as you can see this stands for b border i will press b and now as you can see letters you can press any letter if you want that respective function to happen on that table so let's say if i don't want to have any border i will press n as you can see is no border i will press n and there will be no border for this similarly Again, if I want to have all the borders, I can simply press Alt H P A, just like this. So the next shortcut is shortcut number four, start a new line in a cell. One of the interesting things about this shortcut key is that most of the people are always confused as to how to enter a second line in a cell. Personally too, uh, many people have come up to me to ask how to go on a second line. So I thought I would share this shortcut key with you guys as well. Alt plus enter is the answer to this problem. So let's say I'm writing like this step 1 and if I want to write step 2 in the next line I can press alt and enter and then write like this. So this is the uh, use of this shortcut key. Moving on to the next shortcut which is shortcut number 5 apply or remove filters. A whole lot of people who use excel deal with filters uh, almost on a daily basis. So this shortcut should be a top priority for those people. With the help of this uh, shortcut key, you can apply or remove filters from any table or data set. So let's say if I want to apply filter to this table, I can simply select this table and then press Ctrl, Shift and L. It will select filters. And then let's say if I want to remove filters, I can simply press Ctrl, Shift and L again and it will remove filters for me. So the next shortcut key is in continuation to shortcut number 5 which is access filter drop down after applying filter. So one interesting thing about this shortcut key is that very few people know how to deep dive within filter. So let's say I have applied filter to this table 
so let's say if i want to deep dive into name uh, column i can click on this filter and then this dialog box will open instead of doing that i can simply go to that cell and press alt up arrow or alt down arrow to open this dialog box and then with the help of arrow keys i can move to this filters and then use spacebar to either select or unselect them so let's say if i want to have only alexander i can first select on select all to uncheck it and then go towards alexander and then again press spacebar and then click okay so you can use a combination of alt up and down arrows and spacebar to deep dive within filters moving on to the next shortcut which is shortcut number 7 which is sort data so people working in excel often have a need to sort data either ascending or in descending order so let's say i want to sort this data by this column total amount in descending order so let's i can select any cell within that column and press this sign for descending or this sign for ascending since i want to do it in descending order i can press this and it will be sorted in descending order but what if i want to sort this data with the help of two columns let's say total amount in descending order and name in ascending order so for that i can simply press alt a s s and it will open this sort dialog box for me and then i can apply my condition which is total amount in descending order and name in ascending order and one more thing before you close this dialog box you need to be very sure whether this data box is checked or not so basically this data box or this check box is used to tell excel if if uh, if the first row of the data contains column headers or not if you check this then excel will know that it needs to exclude that row since it contains column headers so now if i press okay it will be sorted in by total amount and name in this example let's say this amrinder's total amount value was 34587 so in that case it will sort by total amount first and if the two values are same it will then move on to the next column which is name and since amrinder's a comes before samuel's s it would place amrinder before samuel in this table the next shortcut on the list is shortcut number 8 which is remove duplicates so this shortcut is also very useful to learn so in order to explain this shortcut i will be considering this dummy data set so let's say um in this we have regions uh, what are the regions and the dummy sales persons for that region so let's say if i want to know uh, how many unique regions are there i can simply copy this regions column and paste it here and then press alt a m and then it will open a duplicate dialog box for me similarly as you can see this check box this check box is the same so if you check this it will tell the excel that uh, the first row is a column header and we need to exclude that so since we want to exclude that it you can check it and then you just need to press okay and then you will see that it says five duplicate values found and removed five unique values remain so it means that there were initially five duplicate values and all of them were removed now and these are the unique values which remain similarly if i want to find duplicates let's say in, from two columns regions and name you will see that there are only two duplicates with the uh, with the help of region and name combination which is north xyz and north xyz so let's try it with the help of an example let's say press alt a m this has opened the dialog box for me and now if i want to so currently it's it has selected from two onwards but i want to get it selected from one so i will have to uncheck this since our data doesn't contain any column header and now i just want to uh, remove duplicates from column e and f not d so i will uncheck column d and then press okay So as you can see, it says one duplicate value is found and removed. Nine unique values remain. So initially there were ten values, but one of them was duplicate. That is north x y z. So as you can see, this has removed duplicates like this. Moving on to the next shortcut, which is shortcut number nine, paste as values, and that can be implemented with the help of shortcut keys Alt E S V. So we are all aware that copy and paste is one of the most used function in Excel. but there are some situations where we just need to copy a value and not the format or the formula behind that uh, data so let's say if i want to copy this uh, values of total amount but without its formula i can simply press control and c to copy it and let's say if i want to paste it here i can press alt e s and that will open paste special dialog box for me and then i can press v and then press okay So this has pasted all these values but without formula these are just hard coded numbers for us 
there will be no formulas behind it and there are some more uh, pay special operations which we can perform like add subtract multiply and divide but i will cover them in advanced excel series the 10 shortcut is about finding and replacing and that can be implemented with the help of control and f and control and h so i can say that this is one of the most used functions in excel so let's say you have a table comprising many rows and columns and if you want to find any specific column you will not scroll through each and every column like this and then search for that column because it's very time consuming instead you can simply press ctrl and f and then press let's say if i want to find total amount i can simply enter total amount and then click on enter and it will find total amount column for me Similarly, let's say if I want to replace any text with some other text, I can press Ctrl and H and it will open this dialog box for me. Let's say I want to replace name column with name slash salesperson like this. So in find what I need to write the name of the column that I need to replace and then replace with is the text basically you want it to be replaced by. So here name would be replaced by name underscore salesperson and if I click on replace all it will replace all the instances of name in that particular table. So as you can see it says we made one replacement. This is the use of control plus F and control H shortcut key. This completes our all the 10 shortcuts but I would like to give you one extra shortcut which I personally use the most is to see all formula. Let's say you have a file wherein you have a lot of formula. This shortcut key comes extremely handy when you want to check all the formulas in a worksheet all at once it can be also used to check if all those formulas are consistent so let's understand this with the help of an example so to see all formulas you just need to press ctrl and tilde sign and it will replace all the values with its backend formula if there are any so as you can see here total amount is being replaced with its formula and since you have calculated total amount as unit sold into price per unit you can see all these formulas at once and after checking let's say if i want to move back to the previous version i will again press ctrl and tilde sign and it will take me back to the previous version which is this version so i would suggest you if you are dealing with formula you can use this shortcut key to check its consistency thanks for watching till the end now in the comment section, please let me know which shortcut key you use the most. Till then, stay safe. Bye.